This is Company Saturdays. Every Saturday, we present you with another company. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about NVIDIA. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to our channel for a brand new video. Today, we're talking about something you must know a lot about if you're passionate about gaming or just computers in general. NVIDIA is an American company that is best known for their design of GPUs, or graphic process units, and SOCs, system on a chip units. The company is based in Santa Clara, California, and established itself in the gaming industry and actually decided to expand to other areas such as data centers, professional visualization, and auto. The history of the company begins back in the 1990s, with the three co-founders anticipating the next wave of computing being graphics-based. They started off with a capital of $40,000 and have been in the game ever since. In 2014, NVIDIA decided to fully focus their resources on four markets. Gaming, professional visualization, data centers, and auto, and have since added artificial intelligence to that list. Nowadays, NVIDIA is one of the most powerful companies in the tech industry and invests money in constantly being a step ahead of the game and setting new technology trends. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at ALUX. But hey, let's not waste any more time and get straight to it, shall we? Here are the 15 things you didn't know about NVIDIA. Number 1. NVIDIA invented the first graphics processor chip. Not only were they there when it happened, they made it happen. NVIDIA established the term GPU in 1991 when they started to market the world's first GPU, their GeForce 256. This was the single chip processor with integrated transform, lighting, triangle setup, clipping, and rendering engines. Their competitors, ATI Technologies, also came out with one, but they called it the VPU, or Visual Processing Unit, in 2002. NVIDIA's GeForce 3 was the first chip that could perform programmable shading. It actually gave PlayStation 2 a run for its money if you tried using it in the Xbox. Number 2. The name comes from the Latin word NVIDIA, which means envy. The company is known for using symbolism and a lot of wordplay in their marketing and, of course, the name they chose for the company doesn't come short. The name has a double nuanced meaning of envy, but also vision and when pronounced, it actually makes you think of video. Mythology connects vision and envy, as both are represented with the symbol of an eye. The guys at NVIDIA seem to have a passion for mythology as their high-end products are called titans. They like to play the envy card a lot as well, and they went on to use the slogan Green with Envy for their GeForce 8 series. They use green for the company theme and the logo resembles an eye. Well played, NVIDIA. Number 3. NVIDIA is known for being a great place to work. The company that's known for designing GPUs for the gaming market is also known for being a great place to work. A senior network engineer at NVIDIA says that working at NVIDIA is fun. The working environment is great, colleagues are very helpful and extremely smart. Everything happens there at the speed of light. Lots of amazing benefits that are the best in the industry. Business Insider actually rated the company as part of the 25 best tech companies to work for, where it landed in at graceful number 12. They were also chosen to be a part of the list of the 50 best places to work in the US. Well, people working at NVIDIA must be pretty happy and grateful for being there. It seems like such an amazing company to work for. Number 4. They Support Women in Technology it's always great to see companies that support women who are interested in expanding their knowledge in the tech industry. There's actually an NVIDIA Women in Technology, or WIT, forum that does just that, gives women the chance to learn more about the NVIDIA technology. The idea behind WIT is to develop an understanding of NVIDIA products with the women that work in the company in technical or non-technical areas. This way, having a full understanding of the NVIDIA products, they'll be able to have a wider contribution to the development of the company. NVIDIA WIT is reaching out on an international level as well, as it was also involved in the Women in Animation India series. Number 5. According to Forbes, they have a market capitalization of $59.1 billion. 
NVIDIA was founded in 1993 by Chris A. Malakowski, Curtis R. Priem, and Jen Sun Huang. They took the company a long way since the 90s and now have two areas of business they focus on, the Tegra processor and the graphics processing unit. These two units actually include different products for desktop, tablets, and smartphones. Therefore, they cover a very wide range of the tech market nowadays. The Tegra processor is meant for small devices like tablets and smartphones, providing minimal power consumption while also offering great visual experiences. The graphics processing unit covers the other wide part of the market, offering chipsets and other products for PCs. The guys at NVIDIA seem to have figured out how to stay relevant and also cover a wide market with their products. Number 6. False advertising costs them some serious cash and fans. Overselling and false advertising always come back to hurt the company's reputation. Why do people still try such marketing schemes? We have to wonder. Well, NVIDIA didn't come out clean from this one, as they were subject to a class action lawsuit which they decided to end in a settlement. The lawsuit addressed the false marketing that the company used to promote the GeForce GTX 970 graphic card. The large number of customers were disappointed to find that the specifications of the card were not as advertised, but much lower. The customers stated that they did not receive the full value of the product they paid for in terms of processing the characteristics set forth above, yet paid a price premium for the GTX 970 device. Number 7. AMD, their biggest competitor, shamed them in an open letter. They don't play the competitive game lightly. Their GeForce Partner Program received sanctions from the US Federal Trade Commission because of their anti-competitive approach. NVIDIA took their partnerships to the level of encouraging them not to sell any AMD products and therefore use the upper hand to sell their GPUs. This kind of approach determined AMD to come out with a statement saying that, quote, Our proud pastime of PC gaming has been built on the idea of freedom. This was meant to put into light that AMD is committed to transparency and runs innovation in an open manner. In the tech world, one day you're in and the next you might be out. So being aggressive with marketing and sales is something tech giants have been doing for a long time. Number 8. A Chinese company is giving them a massive headache. The Chinese like to keep their technology secret, and this gives big companies like Nvidia a lot of headaches. One of these companies is Bitmain Technologies, a Beijing-based company that acts in the now very profitable cryptocurrency markets. In 2017, they were estimated to have gained around $4 billion in profit. This makes the big tech players like Nvidia and AMD feel a bit overwhelmed and threatened. Bitmain bases their profits on the production of their chip that is used in mining bitcoins. These application-specific integrated circuits seem to offer more power and efficiency and performance than the products made by NVIDIA and their direct competitor AMD. In this tech world, you better step up your game, because if you don't, you might just be out of the game by tomorrow. Number 9. They have a new partnership with Volkswagen as AI seems to be the next big thing and everyone wants to be a part of it, NVIDIA is partnering with Volkswagen to give artificial intelligence capabilities to their future car models. This partnership might materialize in the form of an intelligent co-pilot system, but an official statement of the exact nature of the final product was not released. The CEOs of NVIDIA and Volkswagen seem to be highly optimistic regarding the future of their partnership, declaring that in a short matter of time, just a few years, all vehicles will be adapted to include AI assistance for voice, gesture, and facial recognition, as well as augmented reality. Number 10. Jensen Huang has a net worth of $5.5 billion, according to Forbes. Jensen Huang is one of the co-founders of NVIDIA, the company that's known for producing high-quality graphic processors. He is currently the CEO and president of the company and made the Forbes list as one of the highest-paid CEOs in the U.S. He's originally from Taiwan and a graduate of Oregon State University. He then went on to move to California and follow an electrical engineering master's degree at Stanford University. But he hasn't forgotten his alma mater, as he donated $30 million to Stanford University for the building of the Jensung Huang School of Engineering Center. 
That's a good way to give back and contribute to the next generation of tech enthusiasts. And if you want to find out about another tech billionaire, make sure to watch our video 15 Things You Didn't Know About Elon Musk by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Millennials Love and Buy NVIDIA What makes NVIDIA such a hip brand? Millennials, of course. They love NVIDIA and actually buy their stocks. NVIDIA's stock prices went up by 95%, which made it one of the best performing stocks on the market. Millennial investors and traders are going after them, and they actually went to being the top six most owned stock holdings for millennials. That's quite an achievement for the graphic processor producing company. Being on the good side of millennials can actually make or break a company's profits in this day and age. The fact their chips are used on a large scale in cloud computing companies is another element that helped their stocks spike on the market. Being in high demand really pays off, and Nvidia knows how to make the best profits when the attention is on them. Number 12. They're successfully entering the AI market. Keeping relevant is being in the AI market, and Nvidia is entering it successfully. Nvidia is conducting research in the AI field to provide robots with the ability to learn by example. That is, for them to watch it be done once and then be able to repeat the action precisely. Well, this is actually the next step in using robotic workers. They must be able to learn what to do on a certain job, and the method of showing is always simpler and faster than telling them what to do and hoping they get it right. The researchers are using a game-like scenario to teach the system how to reassemble a certain scene. They scatter a toy with four colored blocks, and the robot is the one who has to put the scene back together. It seems that even robots learn better while playing games. Number 13. Now is a proper time to buy Nvidia shares. If you're thinking of buying shares of this tech giant, now would be a good time to do so as they are down by 5% but are presumed to go up on another high soon. Tradinganalysis.com founder Todd Gordon is saying that Nvidia stocks are one of the few that are actually worth investing in at the moment. The stocks are quite volatile, but he believes they are going to see a raise to about $255. What do you think? Are you planning to invest in any stocks anytime soon? And if you are, would Nvidia be one of your options? After all we learned about them today, they seem to be on the top of their tech game, don't they? Number 14. They were among those that didn't donate to the San Jose Flood. The San Jose Flood in the U.S. devastated neighborhoods and left families without shelter. As a result, many businesses in the area offered to donate funds to help the locals and authorities in their efforts to recover after the natural disaster. The major Silicon Valley residents, like Apple, Nvidia, or Intel Corp., did not aid the residents with any donations. One of the CEOs of the companies who aided the San Jose people stated that, We thought we would really get things going and there would be more tech firms, adding, We're just kind of confused why some of the tech firms aren't contributing to the fund. Number 15. They give free GPUs to universities and researchers. Even though they don't always donate money directly, NVIDIA is quite involved in aiding students and universities into having the latest tech available to conduct their studies and research. NVIDIA gave out Tesla V100 GPU accelerators to Honolulu and Sydney AI researchers. They keep an eye on the academic field and aim to support students and researchers at many universities around the world. Their goal is to inspire and support technological innovation, so they have computing platforms that are accessible to universities and are also offering discounts on their products. You can find out more about their programs and partnerships on their website. And that was it for today's Tech Lesson Aluxers. We hope this was an interesting one for you and we want to know, do you prefer NVIDIA products or do you choose AMD? Let us know in the comments. And as always, because you stuck with us until the end, as a true Aluxer, you know you're in for a bonus fact. Here it is. Number 16. Cryptocurrency mining PCs are using NVIDIA products. Digital currency is such a big thing nowadays that even brands like NVIDIA, who are declared to focus their products on gaming, are actually turning an eye into this growing market. Or are they? The market for NVIDIA and AMD graphic cards seems to run out of stock every time prices for cryptocurrency rise. 
This is good for the sellers, but also a very uncertain line of business. Nvidia seems to know where their loyalty is and is choosing to focus their main sales on PC and gaming enthusiasts. Retailers for Nvidia have been asked to prioritize in favor of gamers when it comes to selling GPUs. Even if miners represent good potential clients, their need fluctuates as cryptocurrency does, and this is a quicksand business that giants like Nvidia do not want to base their profits on. At least, not yet. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.